How's it going everyone? My name is Deflux and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a very exciting tutorial. It's going to be on transforming an object into another object, so almost like a transition. But these are going to be 3D objects within Cinema 4D. Okay, so in the description below there's going to be the plugin you're going to be needing for this as well as this little project I've set up for you guys. Except the two objects we're going to be using, which is a cube and an oil tanker, will not be fractured. So be sure to fracture those yourself. If you do not know how to, then be sure to check out my previous tutorial. That will help you out a lot in terms of fracturing objects. Okay, so we're going to go over to Python, then the plugins, and then transform. So we're going to name this cube, um, so we can, you know, we can understand which one we're using. And uh, we'll use this, and we'll pick existing parts, because we've already fractured our object. And as you can see, it's already doing a pretty good job. Um, and it's transitioning out like we want it to. So there's several effects we can use. These are all very, very good to be honest. Um, let's see, let's try... Yeah, let's try implode. That just sounds cool. Wow, looks pretty sick. That's not gonna lie. It looks pretty sick. Okay, so we'll use that and we'll create another transform. We'll call this oil tank and this shall use the oil tank layer and instead of chunking we will use the existing parts and we'll hit apply and we'll make sure it animates inwards instead of outwards and we'll use exactly the same preset or as what we have in the other one this will this will keep things looking pretty good okay so the idea here is we're gonna move this up to uh, let's move this up to about 100 frames and make sure the start frame is uh, Yeah, we'll start it about 10 frames And with the cube we'll make sure it ends earlier So about frame 80. F yeah, something like that. That looks You know whatever makes this look pretty nice and to be honest this looks pretty good already so um, yeah I mean we can go through a set of different presets and see what they could do but I'm not really gonna bother doing that okay so here's an idea I've got we'll open up a null and we'll put these two layers into the null so this will like <coughs> allow us to control um, stuff such as rotation and stuff like that. So we'll just name this transform and we'll set a keyframe like so. We'll hit the auto key and we'll move over to yeah we'll move over 90 frames. Pick the rotation tool and we'll rotate this. Um, let's, yeah just rotate it a good. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, yeah that'll do. We'll rotate it 90 degrees so yeah, that is looking pretty. Actually, no, we'll rotate it the other way. So we'll do just go over to here and hit negative ninety. That way we can almost see the animation. Um, yeah, that looks really good. Yeah. Okay. So with stuff like that set up, um, I mean you can go ahead and render straight away. I mean. Make sure you set that to best. You can turn on the object glow, ambient occlusion. Um, I've even set up a little bit of depth of field, although that's really not going to be necessary. Um, but yeah, that is it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, to be honest, you probably didn't enjoy it, but I hope you actually did learn something from this. It's a lot easier than you'd think, to be honest. If you have... Um, any ideas for more tutorials be sure to put them in the comments below I am looking to do another tutorial tomorrow so be sure to check that out see you later